Ahoy! I'm Stuart Proctor with the Downtown Sailing Center, and today I'm going to talk with you about the Quick Stop Rescue. The Quick Stop Rescue is one of U.S. Sailing's two prescribed person overboard rescues, and it is the one that we recommend at the Downtown Sailing Center to bring your home, crew home safely should they fall overboard. If you have any problem remembering what the Quick Stop is, the first thing you can do is look at the first letter, the Q. It's a circle. And with the quick stop, that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to circle the person overboard and pick them up, hopefully the first time. So let's assume a person goes overboard. Help! What should you do? If you're on a bigger boat, the first thing you should do is you should make sure that you press the wayfinder or MOB button and hold it until it is activated. On a smaller boat, we don't have the technology. And so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to turn the boat into the wind. The second thing we're going to do is we are going to tack very, very slowly, leaving the jib backed into a modified hove to position. The key there is to make sure that jib is in tight and clean it off. We're then going to circle Oscar, maintaining roughly a one and a half to three boat length distance. We're going to sail away onto a broad reach. Key point on the broad reach is that we want to make sure that our main is trimmed in at this point. Then we're going to eventually keep on circling Oscar until we decide to jive and pick Oscar up on a close reach course. Let's analyze each of those steps sequence by sequence. So with the wind coming from the top of the board, we lose Oscar overboard. And the very first thing again we're gonna do is turn the boat up into the wind. Now we do not need to tack at this point. We just need to make sure the sails are luffing. We don't wanna go any further away from Oscar than we need to. Um, especially in our J22s, uh, they stop very quickly, they accelerate very quickly. We don't wanna get far beyond uh, our person overboard. When we go up into the wind, that will also give our jib trimmer a chance to get that jib in nice and tight and to cleat it off. Once that jib trimmer has gotten that jib tight and cleated off, the helms person can tack slowly through the wind. Once that jib catches the wind backwinded, the bow will dial down pretty aggressively and the driver should be ready to counter steer just in case the boat starts to bear away and run over toward Oscar. At that point, the helms person should have good eyes on the prize and should be able to sight to make sure that Oscar is within sight, roughly uh, one and a half to two, two and a half boat lengths away. And then the helms person can circle Oscar, leaving the jib backed and ideally also leaving the main trimmed in. Now, if it's very windy on the J22s, there's not a lot of keel there. And so if you're over canvassed, especially if it's a big sea state, you may need to ease that main sheet out just a little bit in order to get the bow to go down. Now, once the bow goes down and you are on a broad reach course, it is very critical for you to pull that main sheet back in. Probably you'll probably have it in the cleat. You'll probably be pulling it at one hand at a time, but it's very important to make sure that main gets cleated in, sheeted in. As you bear away toward a run, the boat will slow down dramatically and that will give you the best chance for success. So you've brought the main in, you're maintaining a distance of roughly two and a half boat lengths ideally. And then once that jib winks out at you, it wants to wing out and go wing and wing, you're going to stop, as the helmsperson, person, you're gonna stop steering 
and you're going to continue on in that deep bra reach range until Oscar is just what we call just the back of the beam. The wave line that you're on will be after the beam or back of the beam. At that point, you will go ahead and you will jive over. As soon as you jive over, go ahead and smoke that main, let it free. Now on boats with running backstays or high performance boats, you'll need to be very careful on how you smoke that uh, main sheet. You don't want to take the rig down with you. But on the J22s, you can, as soon as you jive over and you know it's an actual jive, it's not an accidental jive, go ahead and just let that main sheet run free. And then blow the jib and immediately turn the boat toward Oscar so you can come back and you can approach Oscar on that close reach position, in that safety position. Couple of key points to review. One, turn the boat into the wind quickly, smoothly, and to make sure that you're close to Oscar. That should be the first instinct of a helms person. You lose somebody overboard, quick stop, quick stop. Turn the boat into the wind. Second thing, make sure that that jib is in tight and cleated before you tack over. The third thing, if possible, keep that main in tight, but if needed, you can ease it to bear away a little bit as long as you bring it back into the tight, into center line, once you go on the broad reach. The Navy way is gonna recommend for you to make an O and trust the circle, but our J22s are very tender and our wind is very shifty. So for the J J22s at the DSC, we want to do more of a kidney bean than a circle. And that will allow us to make sure that we don't have accidental jibes while we're sailing in that dead downwind area. And the last thing is that as soon as we jibe over, we blow that main sheet and then we turn the boat toward Oscar. We will quickly find if we are too high, too low, too fast or too slow, and we can have a chance to make adjustments there. Once we go to pick up Oscar, there's a few things to remember. One is to make sure that we have our throw bag ready and that we have our throwable easily accessible. The other thing to do is make sure that the swim ladder uh, is on board, that you know where it is, you know how to use it, and that you can make sure that uh, even your crew know how to use the throw bag, the, throw, uh, the throwable, and know how to find the swim ladder and attach it to the winch. These are really critical things for all people to know. If you as a skipper go overboard and your crew don't know what to do, you are in trouble. That's a safety briefing. I cannot wait to sail with you in real life after COVID-19. And I hope that you are staying safe, doing well, and keeping yourself busy, healthy, and uh, looking forward to the future. Thanks, bye.